Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about image style in Drupal. In Drupal. So let's see how image style is uh, working in Drupal 9. Okay, so let's create image style. For that you have to navigate to the configuration. Under media you have a menu called image style. So actually why we have image style is that by using image style you can create your own style for the images whatever you are uploading in your website. So you can use same style or based on the location you can change the uh, style of the image. So you can add multiple plenty of image styles and you can uh, configure it accordingly how you want. Okay. So let's create a new image style. I am going to create an image style name as uh, D4 Drupal image style. So let's create it. And once you create it, here you have a list of effects. So you can add what effect you want for that particular image. You can add here. So for that first, what we will do? Let's do it first with convert. So there is a effect called convert. What it does is that whatever the uh, image file you are uploading, like PNG or JPEG or whatever, so when you want to make it display in the front end, you can convert the image to some other extension like PNG to JPEG or JPEG to PNG, whatever how we want, you can do it. Okay. So let me add and I'm going to change this to PNG. So once you added the effect and you can save the configurations. Okay. So once you save the configuration, you have to move to the structure content type and uh, let's move to the basic page manage fields. So here you need to add your fields here. Okay. So I'm going to here and I'm going to create a field called image to apply our new style. Okay. So I'm going to create a field called image. You can use this image style even for media fields. So currently I'm show, showcasing it with normal image field okay so image and the field is image okay and i'm going to save it so the field is already there let's say so image style let's say okay so we need to change the machine name styling okay So I'm going to save it. Here you have an option to specify whether the destination should be public or private. So currently I didn't configure any private file system. So it's public right now. So I'm making it unlimited. You can make it even single. So let's see if you can do single and upload. Seven few configurations. And here you have a, a basic settings, help text for it. And if you want to make it required, you can make it required here. And you can upload the default image, default alternate text, and default title for the particular image. And these are the file extension which is allowed to upload in the files. So this is the folder directory which will be created in the backend when you upload the files. This is how the uh, folder will be created and files will be updated in your file system. And the resolution, how it should be, 1000, 1000 pixel or whatever pixel. If you have a limitation, you can give minimum how much you need. You can give here minimum. And upload size, uh, you can give whatever. Current limit is 2 MB. If you want to make it extend, you have to configure in the php.ini file to extend the upload size. And if you want to enable alternate text, you can enable for that. If that is required, you can make it required. And you can even enable the title field also. So, and I'm not going to make title field as required here and saving the configuration. So now we saved the image styling field. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a basic page where we created the image field, okay? So when you move to the image field, before that we need to configure the image styling, right? For that, the view the view will be handled by the manage display. So you need to move to the manage display. And here you need to say that 
for the image styling field, I'm going to configure the image style of what I created, that is default Drupal image style. And I'm updating it and I'm going to save it, okay? So here I'm going to upload the uh, image to showcase image styling, okay? So don't you let it be the same. Once you saved it and you have here you have a field to upload the image. So what I'm going to do, I have a sample image here and the image extension is PJPEG. So let's save it. So it's, I'm going to give some alternate text and uh, alternate text is required as we configure and title is not required as we configure. Okay, I'm going to save it. So once you've saved it, so I uploaded the image of JPEG, right? And uh, this is the image. When you see the image in this, so here you can see the image is converted to PNG because we are using the image styling as convert to convert the whatever the image extension we are providing that is converted to the PNG image, okay? That is how the, this, convert effect will work and let's see next effect in the same image style i don't want to create new image style new field for each actions so that will take too much time so let's do it everything in the same so now i'm going to remove this convert and showcase the next effect okay so here i'm going to click the crop so what does crop do crop will crop the image at particular place where you are configuring, which means, so here you, I'm going to give like, a, I want only 100, 100 pixel. So uh, this will be considered as a main point. From that point, around 10 pixel will be um, crop. So let's place it here and see how it is. So now we added the effect here. So we no need to configure the 9 display because it's already using the same styling. We are only changing the effect here. So let's reload the same page again. So you can see the uh, right bottom left co right corner that but then 100, 100 pixel is cropped here. Okay. And uh, let's delete it and add next effect. So the next effect will be desaturate. So what is desaturate? What desaturate will do is that it will remove all the colors in the image. So it will be like a black and white or something like gray appearance. So see, this is all. So I'm going to save it. So let me reload here. And here you can see the colors from the image went, right? That is how the desaturate effect will work. So the next one is, let me delete it. The next one is resizing. What does resizing will do? It will change the size of the image. It will not do any cropping anything. Okay, so let's give like a 300, 300 and add effect. So see, you can see how the uh, effect will be. So once you save, you can see here how it is going to be. So see, the same image is resized based on our pixel, what we mentioned there, okay? That is how the resizing will work. Next one is rotate. So rotate, rotate will rotate the image based on some angle. So let's give it 90. Background color, I'm going to give black. And so what does this randomize will do? Randomize will uh, rotate the angle for each image. It will be uh, randomly changing the angle for the each image. So uh, the angle which we mentioned here, that will be the maximum for it. Okay, so let's make it randomize and add effect. So once you add it, so now we added the effect here and let's reload here. 
See here, the image is rotated and background also we added as black color. So it's showing, showing black color in the background. Okay. So let's move to the next one. So the next one is um, rotate. Next one is scale. So what does scale do? Scale will do the same as like re resizing. But it will do beyond the image size also. Like if you have, if you are uploaded the small image, but you want to make it uh, bigger than the original image, you can do upscaling here. Like uh, I'm going to give the thousand. Let's keep it thousand. And allow upscaling means it will uh, make the image larger than than the original. Okay. So I'm going to refresh. So this image is already in that size, so it's it's showing correctly. So it will do the uh, scaling the image based on our width and height what we are mentioning there. Okay. And the next effect is scale and crop. So what does scale up and crop will do? It will do both. It will do scaling and also cropping the image. So let's give here 100, 100. I'm, last time we gave here, so I'm going to keep middle now. So we'll see how it is going to crop for us. So see, the center point is cropped around 100, 100 pixel. okay? That's it about today's session. And you can uh, find my information here. And if you like the video, please, share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.